graduation, finding the right fit for college, just a couple of things high school seniors look forward to while getting ready to be on their own. Well, look no further. Delta State University Housing and Residence Life wants to answer any concerns you may have when trying to find the right place to call your new home. Whether it's finding the right roommate or the right residence hall, let the friendly and knowledgeable staff in the Delta State Housing and Residence Life office answer your questions. Phone them at 662-846-4151 or by following Housing and Residence Life in the quick links at www.deltastate.edu. Delta State University. Join it. Stand out. And welcome back to the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT. Jimmy Smith along with head coach Ron Roberts. 33-27, the Statesman win. Comeback fashion. You go on a 26-3 run in the third and fourth quarter. You were down 24-7 after Eli Craner opened the scoring in the second half. Kind of a dejected feeling, but the defense, even though they gave up 500 yards, played like we haven't seen them play before, created turnovers, kept giving the ball back to the offense. I was real pleased with the, you know, the effort our kids played with, the passion. We talked about that before the game. You know, we haven't been a team that's gonna, you know, we're not, we're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna do some things that, uh, you know, we're growing with. But uh, we want to make sure we came out today and we, we had to play with the passion. We out effort them. Uh, we want to out hit them and be physical. And uh, I was real pleased with that and our, the way our guys responded in the second half. Really held the running in check. Uh, they go over 100 yards, but Daniel McGee was the fourth best runner, third best runner in the conference, and he averaged almost 80 yards a game, and you held him to about 30. So uh, the running game was held in check. Craner got some yards. Uh, everybody was following the backs, following the wide receivers, but the front three, Joe Marshall, uh, Mark Hoskins, David Williams, Anthony Daniels, who registered his first sack of the year, they played, they played great. I'm real pleased. I, I thought we made some strides forward. Uh, again, it's not where we want to be, but uh, we made some strides forward up front. I thought we made some strides forward as a football team. I mean, our back goes against the wall again. You know, we talked about it that, you know, if you want to keep playing, you know, we got we got to find a way to get this one done. How about creating turnovers? A uh, tipped interception for Dominique Davenport. Holland Few ends up with the football in his hands. Uh, Garrett Williams uh, on, an, on an interception as well. So we pick Eli Craner off three times. He's only thrown four interceptions all year. What was the secondary doing and throwing in Holland Few in there as well? What were they doing to find Eli Craner and find where he's going with the football? Well, you know, I thought uh, you know, there were some mistakes early in, in the back end. We blew some coverages, and that gave up, you know, 20, really 21 of those, those first 21 points. And uh, But we were in position. We just weren't making the plays, at the, you know, at the point of attack. And uh, we were in position, thought we had a good beat on it. You know, he stuck the ball in there, uh, you know, made us look like fools a couple times. And then, uh, you know, I think in the second half, it just kind of clicked our way. We, we got our hands on the ball, and, and uh, a good, there was some pressure up front, which also helped, helped the situation, made him rush some throws, and got some pressure, guys flying to the football. Now, Trevar kind of earned the right to keep getting the carries again this week. 16 for 56, not a ton of yardage, but three touchdowns. And those three touchdowns came in huge parts of the game. Uh, so it's Trevar earned a, another chance to be the big guy again. Brandon Lucas has been carrying us in TD with the North Alabama step-out game. And he ran this one into it with the back-to-back -back huge games. Has really started to solidify himself. And hopefully we'll have a playoff run to keep riding that horse. I hope so, too. And I thought that, that drive... Uh Going down with Trevar, where he, he totes the ball and then uh, you know gets us down in there and you know and we score. Uh, I don't know what that that one going away from the scoreboard. Uh, I thought that was a kind of a momentum shifter that kind of got us rolling. That we can get this thing done and we can get rolling, and that's a big part of it. And, and uh, you know, there's some huge plays from a lot of people. I mean, there's a great run by Brandon Lucas late in the ball game that kind of springs it for the last touchdown. And you know, all across the board, there was some great plays across the board. Now, talking about that playoff run, some things happened. Some dominoes fell, and Catawba loses. Uh, Fort Valley State loses. Albany State ends up winning uh, that conference. And uh, also Carson Newman takes a loss as well. So we got a bunch of things that helped us uh, in this situation. So we got three big helpers. Valdosta State took care of business against West Georgia. That looked kind of in question for a little bit. But, you know, we were score wa scoreboard watching the first two quarters, and then we kind of lost hope in scoreboard watching because we were watching that score, but it wasn't going well. So uh, luckily we got the dominoes to fall our way. We got some help. help elsewhere around the around the nation I, I told her that I think uh, that's one of the characters of our team you know we talked about being you know optimistic being positive you know I think if you have you know when you when you hang your head and you, you think it's over with then well then you're probably you're you're right uh, you, know, you, you know there was a little bit of that in the second quarter which I, and I explained to them afterwards you know I was a little you know disappointed in that uh, but be optimistic hope for the best keep plugging away do the best you can and good things are going to happen and uh, our most of the way we've, we found a way to do that how do we take this into Lambeth, a game that, that means something, but uh, obviously the guys, they can't stay, can't stray away from what they did here. They need to keep running the wins together and take care of business. How do you keep this focus carried over to next week against the Eagles? I don't think there's any way of, of us losing our focus. I mean, we know what's at stake here. It's still a situation where you lose or go home. 
So, uh, you know, we can't slip up and do that. And if we want to do something in the playoffs, like we still have aspirations to do and get done, then, uh, you know, we need to get a, a momentum and we need to play well. And we're still on that point. Where we're still trying to improve on a week to week basis. So I don't think there's going to be any problem with getting us motivated for the game. Head coach Ron Roberts piloted the Statesman to a win 33-27 over Washington Baptist today to ruin their senior day. When we come back, Kobe Rich will be standing by with Bill Franks on the Statesman Insider on WXVT. Hey, welcome back to the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT. We're here in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. We're here with wide receiver Bill Franks after that amazing comeback. He had four catches, 64 yards. Uh, what, what can you say about your performance? Oh, man, Coach preached all week, make the plays we need to make. And when, when I get an opportunity to make a play, I make it. And when we were down uh, 24 to 7, I mean, it looked like we, were, we dug ourselves quite a hole. I mean, what were guys saying on the sidelines to amp us up to get us back into the game? It's just stay forward, keep our head up. Coach tells us in the locker room, we had to come together as a team. I believe in the fourth quarter, we came together as a team and got it done. On the uh, last drive there, how was the sidelines? What was the, that like, like with the uh, Wichita driving down and all the way down to that fourth down? Oh, uh, man. The intensity was high, man. Uh, everybody was on their toes, you know what I'm saying? When got the turnover, hey, they made a play. That was the game. And you know we needed this game to for a chance to get into the playoffs. I mean, what's the focus going into next week and another must-win game? Oh, we got to win next week. Stay focused, you know, head into the playoffs. Must-win game. Hey, big game for you, Bill. Thanks a lot for your time. All right, thank you. We're here with Carlton Ali. Now, Carlton, you had one catch, but that catch proved to be a big one, the game winner. On that route, when it's called in the huddle, do you know you're scoring? Uh, yeah, I knew my position on the field, you know. You know, coach called to play, you know. I just had to basically just run my route and catch the ball. And, you know, the end result, you know, it was a touchdown, you know. So I just give that to the receiver on the outside and good block, and then, you know, I just cut back and, and scored or whatnot. And we needed that game to get a chance to get in the playoffs. I mean, when we're coming back, what's the atmosphere on the sideline now? I mean, everybody was up, you know. The two, I mean, they throw two interceptions, you know. I think that was a big deal for us personally because we needed that. You know, I think that just made us more focused and more ready to play. And that's the man that caught the game-winning reception, Carlton Ali. We'll throw it to Jimmy Smith, who's with defensive back Kenny Barnes. Thanks, Kobe. Here with freshman defensive back Kenny Barnes getting his first start with the green and white today. Seven tackles, and you were all over the place. Uh, you were in on a couple tackles for loss. You were all over the field, batting balls in the air. Your first start, huge game for the Statesman getting the win. Just talk about the feelings coming into this one during the week. Well, I mean, I prayed about it, you know what I'm saying, and that God would lead me in the right direction, and you know what I'm saying, we watched film all week, and coach put me in good positions, and I just got to, you know what I'm saying, make plays. So, Now you're learning from uh, Dominic Davenport from the corner spot and Garrett Williams from the safety spot. Did, what do you like to play? I know they had you at safety some, and, and uh, you seem like a corner in your mindset, but uh, what have you learned from Dominic? What have you learned from Garrett? What have you learned from the system? And Pete Golding, one of the best safeties that's ever played here. Well, all three of those guys are phenomenal players, so you can't, you can't doubt that. And, and Dominic, he's my boy, and... Gary happens to be my best friend, so you know, it uh it all it all comes together, you know what I'm saying? We at home chilling, he just, you know what I'm saying, go plays with me, give me right, give me uh focus and stuff. So those are those are great guys to be around, you know what I'm saying, all the time. Now we gave up over five hundred yards of offense, but the defense played extremely well and it seems like we haven't been able to say that lately because we've been thrashed on the ground, we've been beaten through the air. The first two quarters were real bad. Twenty four to seven uh, was where we were left at and then we finally started to steam back. But what was the change in mindset? What was the change at halftime, especially the secondary all over the place and giving Eli Craner fits? Well, I mean, like the first couple games we weren't a first quarter, a first half team, but as you know, saying as we get later into the season, we're trying to pick it up and start start fast and start focusing and stuff. But coming out in the second half today was a great turnaround. We knew we had our backs against the wall, and and playoffs was on the line, so we had to do what we had to do. And we saw Dominic Davenport get a tip interception off of the Preston Felder tip, and then Holland Few ends up with the football and, and pitches it. Uh, it. Everybody was making defensive plays. You were all, all over the place uh, making tackles. What was uh, what was your role in the secondary with such a strong running team and Eli Craner, one of the better quarterbacks uh, in this conference? Well, he's indeed a good quarterback, and you, you got to give him that. But uh, coming into this game, we knew they were going to try us as DBs. We knew we were going to throw the ball. We knew they were going to try to run it. But we came out and stopped the run, and, and all they could do was throw it. So we stopped that, too, and then we just came out with the W. 
Here's hoping your career looks a lot like that with seven tackles tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. And there's freshman defensive back Kenny Barnes. He had a huge game for the States when they win 33-27. to A big thank you to Sandra Rushing and Mo Bell, Jason Connor, Arian Malici, to head coach Ron Roberts, to Bill Franks, as well as Kenny Barnes here for joining us tonight. Thank you for watching. It's the Statesman Insider right here on WXVT.